everybody. I'm back today to share with you my November 2016 Traveler's Notebook. You all might remember that I've been working through a Traveler's Notebook monthly using the Coco Daisy, Daisy Dory subscription for all of 2016. So here we are with November. Now I get that it's already January of the following year, so you probably have properly surmised that I got a little bit behind. And honestly, I was frustrated by that, but I just wasn't able to fit in these projects with all the other things that I'd been working on over the holiday. So the good news is that I was able to start the November Traveler's Notebook during the actual month because I do use it as a calendar and that sort of thing. But I had to finish it in a different sitting. This past weekend, I spent a few hours one afternoon working on finishing up my Traveler's Notebooks for October, November, and December, and I feel really good about them. Some of them are very simple. They're not overly decorated, but I'm still really glad that I took the time to finish them up, and now I have an entire year's worth complete, and that feels pretty good, too. So on the cover, I used the November sticker as I always do, the, the monthly sticker here at the bottom. I added some washi tape from my stash and I included one of the stickers from this month's kit. On the opening page, I don't usually do much of anything. Um, I put a star on Thanksgiving because that was a holiday that we celebrated, but I usually just let this opening page kind of stand for itself. I don't really feel like it needs any additional embellishment. At the beginning of each month, I usually start with a selfie, and this one is no exception. I started with a selfie, a photo here, and I added both a clip and a sticker. On this other side, I have some washi tape and also a sticker from the collection. And then I used a, a series of stickers to kind of illustrate each of the different examples that I was providing there. I decided to make a list of the qualities or the characteristics of my favorite clothes because this photo is one of my favorite dresses. So I thought that was kind of fun. And look how nicely it worked out with the pre-printed materials. His life is too short to wear boring clothes. So I was like, well, that's a perfect kind of prompt for the page. And I think that's a really great thing that some of the Coco Daisy uh, printed elements have done for me is that the actual descriptions in the book have allowed me to have kind of a springboard for what I might want to make my page or my spread about. And I've enjoyed that. So I had clipped together my calendar pages, but I'll take that off so you guys can see. I don't really decorate my calendar pages. These are just how I, you know, keep track of my life, what I'm doing professionally, what I'm doing personally. I don't add anything other than the number stickers for the day. And as you can see, sometimes I mark things out. Sometimes, you know, things don't work out like they're supposed to. Sometimes I mess up, but that's okay. I'm, I'm totally comfortable with that. And I do like to clip those when I can because I think that that delineates the difference between the calendar portion of my book and then the, the more, I don't know, the more personal life documentation portion of my book. On this page, I love this quote by Marilyn Monroe, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. And so I felt like I needed to do some sort of a picture of me and talk about myself a little bit. Some washi tape and some stickers helped me do that. And then I added a list of just various things about me that are true. You know, I multitask because I get bored easily. I love to text and chat in person, but I hate to talk on the phone. Um, on the inside, I still feel like a teenager most of the time. So I think that'll be a, a fun list of things to look at in future years. And I would love to know those things about my own mother. You know, so maybe at some point, Kelsey will enjoy getting to see them. The next page actually is about Kelsey. She is uh, a woman of many talents, and I thought it was just be kind of fun to document some of those. So here is a collage photo along with, you know, a puffy sticker and a label. And then over on this page, I just kind of made a list of different things that, that she excels at doing. 
even though Kelsey doesn't live at home anymore, she's still very much a big part of my life. And, and I don't think that it's strange to document some things about her life in my traveler's notebooks. Uh, I, I generally do that from my perspective, though, because it's not like I'm interviewing her or asking her what she thinks. And how neat will it be maybe in years future if she looks at these and, and realizes, you know, how proud I was of her and that I was working to document her life alongside mine, even though she's not a little kid anymore. Here, uh, I was off on election day and I made a list of all the things that I wanted to get done. You can kind of see which ones I accomplished and which ones I didn't. Um, I always make a bigger list than I can ever hope to actually accomplish, but I guess that's part of the fun of it. And then over here, I shared a photo of a magazine cover about the results of the election. I don't think that this is really the, the time or the place for me to provide commentary about my reaction there. And I essentially, you know, wrote that here at the bottom. I'm not ready to talk about my reactions to that, and that's okay. You know, some people may scrapbook significantly about their feelings about the the election whether they were pleased with the results or disappointed but that's not a place that i'm willing to go publicly yet so on the next page i, I just share a few photos a couple of photos of a train trip that the fella and i took we took the uh, tennessee central railways train down to the delmonico winery in tennessee and had a great time we, we had wine tastings on the way there, and then once we were there, we went on a tour of the vineyard and of the processing facility. We had lunch. It was really a fun day. I will document this in a, a full layout with lots of journaling, so I didn't provide a lot of journaling here. I didn't think that I needed to do that twice. I included some washi tape, some letter stickers, a puffy sticker, and then a printed die cut to uh, sort of tie these two pages together as, as one spread. And like I said, since I'm telling the, the whole story elsewhere, this was just sort of a way to, to mark it as to when it happened in my life rather than tell the, the whole actual story. These pages are about my love of high school football. If, if you guys have been following my blog or the podcast, or if you have been watching these videos, you know that I'm a huge football fan. And Bowling Green High, of course, is my team. That's where I work. And those are the kids that I cheer for each week. The fella and I almost always take a selfie while we're there. Sorry, my dog's barking at nothing. And then, of course, I like to take a photo of the team at some point. I'm happy to report we had a great season, but I won't give too much away since this included the playoffs. I'll just say that we won this particular game. On these two pages, I just have a list. And I actually write a lot in my traveler's notebooks. I know some people do more art journaling. Some people include more photos. Some people look at these as miniature layouts. I have a tendency to include more like photo album spreads as well as wow. lists. That's just what works for me. And these were my monthly to do, this was my monthly to do list for October. I have not marked off the things that I actually accomplished. And maybe that's a good thing. I don't think I got as much done as I probably should have. These pages, I'm sharing some pictures of some jewelry that I made using recycled silk sari ribbon. This is not something that I'll probably ever make a layout about, so I wanted to document it here. And I have a couple of photos to just support what it is that I made, and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm proud of those pieces. Here's a spread about my girl. She and I spent a Saturday afternoon together, and went to the local Middle Eastern grocery store and then to a Middle Eastern restaurant that has opened up here in town. You might not know, but my daughter is an Arabic major at the university and she loves being able to go to the grocery store and the restaurant because she can speak Arabic with the people who work there, which is pretty cool. Bowling Green is a refugee center. Each state has two cities that are designated in that way. So we have a large, pretty large population of refugees who come here as, as well as other immigrants. 
and I'm always so impressed by what Kelsey is able to do in her conversations. Of course, I understood like three words the whole time we were there, but everyone was so welcoming and kind to her, and they were so impressed with her fluency. I was just, I was a proud mama, and I tried falafel for the first time and really enjoyed it, so that was fun. Here is a page of quotes. I think I've mentioned before that I like to do that every month. Just whatever strikes me as interesting or provocative or worthy of note in a given month. And so I, I added those as the month continued. Sometimes it's from online. Sometimes it's from a magazine or a newspaper article I might be reading. And then over here, I added a photo of the three of us as we went to a night of dance at WKU. Again, it's probably not something that I'll do a layout about necessarily because there isn't really a significant story that accompanies it, but I wanted to document that photo and have it, you know, as, as proof of things that were happening in my life in November. Here's another to-do list. <laughs> this one is more about prepping for my December daily that was coming up. And then over here, I have a photo of the fella and me as we got ready to go celebrate Thanksgiving. This spread is also about Thanksgiving. So I had some fun with some stickers and some tape and some photos there. And then there was one more photo I wanted to make sure to include. So I actually put it at the very end on the, the back cover, the inside back cover of the Traveler's Notebook. Kelsey and her husband, Jake. So there you go. That is my November 2016 Traveler's Notebook. I'm glad that y'all stopped in to see it and hope that you'll leave me a comment or question if you have one. I'll be back soon with December 2016 and to show you my notebooks for the whole year. I thought y'all might like to see the, the stack of those. And until then, go and be crafty.